Hey guys, welcome back to my AFK Arena. In today's video, I wanted to talk about my initial impressions of Awaken Sophia. Now, when we take a look at her, I'm going to go through all these replays because I've pushed through all of chapter 31 with her. I want to go through some replays, show you some damage that she deals because her damage is insane and show you some replays to show you the supportive capabilities. Now, the one thing I will say about Sophia is I think she's an absolute beast. I think she's going to be good pretty much everywhere. Haven't seen her in the ladders yet. But, um, you know, we normally wait for Global to get it and, and then that's where we find out the true power of a character. So don't go saying I'm going to pull Sophia because she's OP based on this. But I think she is definitely strong. How strong will remain to be seen? But the one thing I think you really need is to have this. Sophia no longer spends energy to use her ultimate, but instead distributes energy evenly among allied heroes because this is so huge. It's like a Rosaline type thing. Plus she generates so quick. And, you know, if you get in this situation, this is where I, like I've been using her with Lucretia. And if everyone else is dead and it's her and Lucretia alive, you just cycle so quick. And then she's also got the control. Like she's just... She's fantastic with this. So I think you do need this. I believe it's Ascended you need to get to to get this level three. So she is a steep one in that. Yes, she does have use outside of it, but I think that is like something is like the most important thing to pick up, in my opinion, so far from my testing. But I've been using her all the way from stage 28, and I wanted to show you some of these results. So if we go over here to formations, to my rem OP, and we jump here. So now, I've been using them on the second battle, which is the weaker battle, but if you see here, my Lucretia was still uh, Mythic Plus level 220 when I cleared this, um, and you can see Mishka's damage is pretty high, so it's nothing crazy that she's doing more damage than Lucretia because it is 220. This was only uh, a 20 signature item as well, um, but keep in mind, she's going to be 220 this whole way and we'll have a look at the way her damage evolves but i just wanted to show you guys some replays to show you how i've been using her um i wanted to show, make this video before i push into the next chapter and lose these replays but um you'll see here i i, I can't remember which replay works which way um but you can see sophia when she ults we just like insta ult it's just it's so fantastic and she's generating that energy so quickly even with two, with mishka and lucretia alive we were cycling so quick thanks to that so that is that one. Uh, let's go up to 32 and take a look at this one. Um, go here to the Remo P account again. And over here, still level 220 at Mythic Plus. And you can see we're still getting a similar damage. So this is going to be a very similar replay when we look at it um, as to what happens. I'm assuming the Lyca and the Floppy will die and the others will just con continue to do their thing. I don't even know if Lyca survives this whole one. But as you can see, like we cycle so quickly through those ultimates and we just absolutely slap. So let's go into the next one again. That was 32. Is this 36? Let's see. And apologies, the, the internet connection here is horrible once again. So we will get some lag. So let's check 36, uh, the Rem OP account again. And once again, still level 220 Lucretia in this one. We do have the 240 Scarlet in this theme, team though. But honestly, her matching those damage, yes, she is ascended. Um, I, I'm still quite happy with keeping in mind we don't have an artifact on her and she's just got base gear. Whereas Lucretia and also if we go to Hero Info, if we look at the gear, uh, I mean, Scarlet's only got one tier three piece. Uh, Lucretia's got uh, two tier threes, uh, three tier three, sorry. So pretty geared. So the fact that she's doing this without an artifact, only at 24 SIG item. Um, and, you know, I guess there are some tier twos and tier ones. So it's decent gear, but uh, just for the comparison. So let's jump in. Let's check this one and have a look. Da -da 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 -da, there we go. And like I said, I just, I just really like the way she's working. She's dealing a mass amount of damage. I think the mask damage is counted towards Sophia's damage, not the ally that it's on. Um, and that's why she's getting such high damage. It's because those masks um, are counting towards her. That's how I understand it at this stage. So that is that one. So what stage was that? 36. The next one here is going to be 40. So let's go to formations. This might be where I got my um, Lucretia maxed out ascended yeah so now we're at and, and so this is this is a better representation now so lucretia's at 240 uh 30 signature item as well but i mean she's still doing a decent d damage comp considering that she has so much support in the in the her ult giving so much energy so i want to jump into this let's take a look and let's see this should be one where everyone dies pretty quick except for these two and as you can see she just like sits there 
And then she gets the stun when she uses her ult as well. This one had a thorn, so. But you can see as soon as she ults and she gets it, gets that energy so quickly. Obviously, Lucretia has high energy regeneration, but I think she's gonna do really well with like Lucretia and Rem, which are two good heroes anyway. But just the way those those heroes can self sustain and function once everyone else is dead. But if you somehow protect a Sophia in the back, she just enables them with those ults just to keep going. So there's definitely gonna be more synergies than that, but. The cool thing is, like, she stays good even when more allies die because then she's just buffing the allies that are left even more, which is a pretty cool thing, in my opinion. So let's go here. This should be 44. Let's jump into it. Formations, Rem OP over here. Um, and once again, this was a Lucretia one. I think everyone died in this one, so that's what happened here. I think this was just a genuine Lucretia run. Yeah, this was this was a genuine Lucretia run. There, there was nothing, <laughs> nothing else to it. That was just Lucretia doing Lucretia things. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, let's go into the next one, which is... Wait, no, that's the next person. All right, 44. Let's jump into 48 here. Formations. Let's have a look again. Uh, and there we go. Once again, getting like, you know, a, a third of Lucretia's damage is pretty solid, in my opinion, in this type of thing. So let's jump in and take a look. And this is just the way I've been using her uh, because she really enables Lucretia to do these type of things. Considering like, I, like I'm like i honestly struggling, like these replays look easy, but these take me a ton, a ton of retries to get these victories, changing formations, just retrying for RNG and stuff like that. And I, I find her really good for that energy regeneration factor. So that is that one, 48. Let's go to 52. Um, and let's take a look at formations. Once again, the Rem OP uh, and over here. And now she's doing about like over half of Lucretia's damage, which once again, I am quite impressed with. Once again, I believe that is due to the masks and the way the masks are functioning. And like I said, this is just one way of playing her because this account is still early on. So it's all I've really got to uh, go with. Yes, I can put her with Rem and we can do crazy things, but uh, I need her more in the Lucretia because she is really helping enable the pushes that I'm doing at the moment. As you can see, she's getting really solid damage considering that is a 30 sing Trident Lucretia, meaning we get that massive attack buff as well. Obviously, without Sophia dying, we're losing one stack of Lucretia's buffs, but in general, I think it's a fair trade-off for the energy regeneration that we are getting. So is this the wrong stage here? 52, that was the one we just did. And then over here, let's jump into this one and take a look. And once again, similar thing. We're getting, you know, a third bit more than a third of the damage of the Lucretia. Once again, I think it's quite reasonable considering Lucretia's got an artifact, Lucretia's on better gear, and Lucretia is 30 sing item, which is her key thing. So, and Lucretia's 240, whereas Sophia's 220. That is the big thing. So I think Sophia, I didn't think she was going to have the damage, but I did also think that the mask damage was going to count to the character that had the mask, but it definitely looks like it's counting towards Sophia. Um, so you can see that Lucretia's mask is just like shooting out the damage. So I think that's definitely counting towards Sophia based on what I've been seeing. Um, and yeah, I mean, I am just thoroughly impressed with her so far. I think she's a great unit. Once again, I think you need her ascended. You need to get that ultimate skill to its max to get that energy regeneration. I feel like that's going to be the point at which she can really shine. However, she will do that extra mass damage without that, but I just don't think it'll be enough for me personally to warrant using her. We'll have to wait and see. I could be completely wrong on that take and she could be an absolute beast anyway, um, but it remains to be seen. I I'm waiting to see some results in, um, you know, in the other aspects of the game, be it Treasure Scramble, Cursed Realm, uh, and stuff like that because Nightmare Corridor, because I definitely think she is in bossing. I think she's going to be huge, but I've just got to wait and see. Like I said, I haven't seen anything. I'm not the trailblazer in terms of making new teams in stuff like that. I just... I, I just report what I'm seeing. I'm not the big brain enough. Uh, so we will wait and see, especially once it drops on global, what the whales are doing over there on global uh, to see how well she's functioning. Now, this one here, this stage I'm having a bit of trouble with. So this one's, once again, all these stages have taken a million retries for me to get. So I'm going to have to come in, put a million retries in, try and clear this stage um, and see what we can do. But uh, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty happy with her. I've got another day worth of this trial. I'm going to make the most of it. Then I'm going to be sad when it's gone because she has really helped me with this push. Obviously, getting the 240-30 sig trial with Lucretia has helped as well. But hey, I, I'm really enjoying this affair. But um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on what I see in the ladders and stuff like that once we start seeing it. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.